Hello everyone, welcome to Mellow Out Gaming. I am your host, Tom Mello. And like I said, we're going to be playing ActRaiser today. We're going to go retro today with uh, Super Nintendo. Um, I just want to... I have to do a few things, so just bear with me a little bit, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Stream session's good. Yeah, so if you were watching my stream yesterday, I apologize, but... Uh, there's about 45 minute, minutes missing of my no death run. Um, I don't know what happened. But, uh, sorry, I'm just sharing that I'm live on my Twitter and then we'll get to it. This won't take but a couple of minutes. Almost done, guys. Gotta go to those Twitch groups. Almost there. I see that somebody's here. Thanks for coming. I'm going to be playing in about one minute. I'm just sharing to all my social media that I'm live, and then we will get going. Say hey if you want. Um. <clears throat> Almost done. Two more places to share. Now Discord, and that is it. Right. There we go. So let me switch this over so I don't have any latency. We are ready. Thanks for hanging, guys. So uh, this is a favorite of mine. I love this game. You're basically God, and you're battling evil, and then the devil at the end. Um, we're going to call ourselves... We could just say Tom, but we're going to go with Thomas. It sounds more regal. they call you Sir Thomas. So. Okay. So like I said, this is a like a side-scrolling battler, uh, but also mixed in with uh, kind of like a Sims aspect, because you build up uh, cities and everything, and then fight the evil. So it's cool. Uh, it kind of starts, you battle, clear out the monsters from the land, or at least some of them. Then you settle the area, make towns, battle again, and then move on to a different uh, area. Rinse, repeat. Okay. And you want to score points, too. So I, I was reading up on this one day because I, I was bored. <laughs> and um, apparently the, the number of points you score is a direct correlation to the number of citizens you can have in your town. So the more you score, the better it goes. Uh, there is a max, 
number of citizens you could have populate your town, though. And the reason pop, uh, the population growing is important is because you see my energy bar? That grows every time uh, you reach a certain um, number of uh, citizens in your town. I just wanted to get that thing there. So I've beaten this game without dying before. We'll see how I do this time. Um, I, uh, I'll i definitely have to break this game up into two videos, I think. Depending on what kind of time I have today. I do have a couple of things to do. Today I'm, I have to go and record some more of my audiobook that I wrote. Um... Well, I wrote the physical version, and I'm recording the audiobook, obviously. Um, this is my third book. Um, my first book was science fiction-y. Second book was more supernatural fiction, I guess to coin a genre. I don't know if that's really a genre. And then um, this one's kind of autobiographical, but funny, and kind of poking fun at myself, so... Um, should be a fun read. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Thanks for watching. How's the feed today? Is it better? Made all those changes. I turned the VPN off, so hopefully the bandwidth isn't too much for my Wi-Fi connection. Ah. Not too hard of a pattern, right? I always like to go to the end of the path. That way whoever's traveling through this forest comes upon my statue here at the end of the path, the way it should be. I don't know. Well, Sonny, I just got your text, so if the VPN is still on, and uh, let me know if my stream gets uh, screwy. Just gonna make sure everything's still working nice. And we still have a count going, so we are live. Okay. Yeah, I, I was so pissed when I saw that Literally, like, 45 minutes of my stream from last night was missing. But what are you going to do? All part of the learning process. So, yeah, this is part of the, of the Sims part that I was talking about. You have villagers, and they have needs, and they ask you to do things. So now we just have to kind of clear out some of these uh, bushes so that they could build. Um, actually... I'm going to get this out of the way. Right here, if you break this rock with the lightning, lightning break, breaks like rocks, trees, could break, uh, destroy houses. Um, I'll get into all that. Um, but that rock there, that big boulder right here, that goes away. And then they find like a magic scroll for you that you could use in the battle sequence that we were just in. So that's my first bit of magic. It's like two flames that come out from either side of you. Alright, so we have to kill more demons so that we can cast lightning. You see that SP on the upper right? The SP, I can, my max is 20 right now, but as you build your levels, that SP goes up. So SP, you spend that on spells like lightning and things like that. So right now we're starting to build. And you gotta make sure that these demons don't kill your villagers, because they try to. The bats try to fly away with them. The blue demon tries to uh, destroy the houses with lightning. So you have to kind of juggle what you're doing. Sonny, how's the stream? Is it okay? What 
what I'm gonna end up doing. We'll see how this how this goes. Um, with the uh, stream quality, hopefully, hopefully people not streaming on Netflix or whatever in my house at the same time um, will improve it. Lai Vantier or Vantier. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping by. I figured, uh, why not a Napoleon hat? My buddy and I love the Bill and Ted movie, which kind of dates us. Um, but, uh, our favorite character in that movie is Napoleon. So it's kind of an homage to him. A weird one. But I figure also, you know, if people don't remember who I am on Twitch, they could always be like, oh, the dude with the Napoleon hat. I haven't seen anybody else wearing one, so... There's a method to madness, I guess, sometimes. <clears throat> Lie, if, uh, if you want, uh, follow me and I will absolutely return the follow and check out your stream when you go live. I appreciate the support very much. So, I didn't want to really call it a no-death run, because that kind of... I thought maybe by saying, how far will I go without dying, that kind of leaves a little mystery to it. But, uh, it's the same thing as a no-death run, I feel like. Whoops. Alright, so when that hourglass goes down, the town uh, townspeople come out and build up your village. And also, you get more SP to spend. You could also take offerings from your people, too. So, like before when I was showing you the magic that we found, if you take the offering, they'll offer it to you and you can take it with you into battle. That bomb, that angel is just a bomb, so if you use it, all the flying demons that you see on the screen will, uh, will die. But they regenerate, so it's, you know, it's just kind of, you use these mostly later in the game. See, he was going to zap that house with lightning. He was going to fly off with the villagers. So, it is a bit of a juggling act with uh, with these guys here. The demons. But you lead the villagers to the uh, demon's lair and they seal it up. Oh, that was close. Um, so, building up your town. If you look, you can see the population right above SP there. And when it gets to certain points, it will give you... Ooh, I don't have enough SP to put out that fire. Let's see if I could earn it real quick. Before the houses burn down. I don't think so. I think the yep, those houses were toast. Save those villages, though. Um, yeah, so, that's not a... A big deal because I'll tell you why so as you build up the town also your um, the civilization in the town goes up what I mean by civil civilization is the quality of the homes and the buildings that you build go up so and with better quality buildings they could fit a higher population see we just gained uh, a civilization level so you're gonna see that the new houses that they build are better looking and better material. Um, so in order to, and this is later in the game, when you come back to really maximize your your uh, population, you have to use this <laughs> earthquake, and it just wipes out everything that isn't above a certain civilization level. So I feel bad doing it because it's like a mass a mass killing of your people, but you got to do it if you want to raise your life bar, which is right under Fillmore there. Hey, if you're a gamer, you know this stuff. I don't have to tell you that. <clears throat> okay, we increased the level. So next time, the population... Uh, well, when it goes up to 200, then we'll increase again. And in the meantime, we're just going to keep building and... Um, 
shutting down those monsters lairs. I always like to lead the, uh, I, I always max out the paths and everything. I build as much as I possibly can. Like, every stitch of land I take up. And there's also, because you, obviously, you see uh, a monster's lair across this uh, river here. So obviously we're going to be building a bridge soon, right? But after you clear out the last um, monster's lair on this side of the river. Um, and then they say, hey, guess what? We learned how to build a bridge. Necessity is the mother of invention. Um, so after that, then you could go across there. And they say that there's also a correlation. When I was reading that article about the points having a correlation to the population, um, the number of bridges that you build also have a correlation. Like, the fewer, the better. But I don't know. I mean... I imagine they know what they're talking about. Whoops. But, um, I haven't... I don't know. I'm not gonna get that crazy with it. I'm gonna make the town as big as I possibly can make it. It's kind of counterintuitive to say, okay, because by building less bridges, it's not like I can just build a bridge. You have to build, like, each, each plot, like a square that you saw. So, that's... If you're building less bridges, you're building less area, which is less area for people to populate. But also, I, I mentioned this the first time I was playing uh, this game, um, when I was doing a test stream, and uh, I on my PS4 I saw that there was a, it's sort of like an ActRaiser remake, and I couldn't believe that it was there. Like, I was just like, oh, let's see, I'm going to type in ActRaiser and see what's what. And sure enough, there is a, it's Soul, Soul something, S-O-L, something, I forget what it's called. But it's, it's basically a remake of ActRaiser. Same exact plot, but, you know, better graphics, you know. But same thing, you build up a town, side-scrolling battler and everything. But it was horrendous. And the first thing that should have tipped me off that was going to be horrendous was that it was like $15. So, you oh, hear the dog? Uh, so yeah, I was kind of, I went from <laughs> extremely excited to extremely disappointed in, um, in a matter of, I don't know, how long did it take to download? maybe 10 minutes and then I played it for like another 20 and was like this this is pretty terrible it's just very confusing like this is straightforward um it might take you like 10 minutes to figure out okay oh I have to do this okay but I mean this is it you know it's not it doesn't get much more complicated and if you do need to do something special the villagers are saying hey I need you to do this I need you to put out a fire over here or hey my kid ran away can you drop this loaf of bread for him you know which happens in the next town but uh the other one was just way too complicated it was like one of those they're about to interrupt me that's the only thing annoying thing about this game are the interruptions by the townspeople Triumph Napoleon. Um, there, so there's one bridge. Uh, might as well shut down this other demon lair. Um, what was I about to say? I was about to say something. Hmm. Oh, see? Now we have that bridge icon, so the next uh, village we go to build, we can teach them how to build bridges. And you only do that once, and then it seems like everybody else just knows how to build bridges. So. Oh, that's what... Uh, the new ActRaiser remake reminded me of 
like those app games where you set up towers and stuff and then you have waves of hordes that come through and try to break down like your structures and stuff like that. It was just like that. And I was like, you know, I understand if I'm bored at work and I had that on my iPad, I might give it a look for five, ten minutes, but for a PS4 game, they could have done much better. Alright, so once you clear out all of the monster layers in, um, in a place... I just want to make sure I'm still live here, sorry. Gun shy from last night, my stream last night. Sunny, how's the uh, stream looking? Is it... Is there latency? Are we looking okay? If you could just kind of let me know, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, so once you clear out all the demon layers, then there's usually another problem that's plaguing the society, and you have to go deal with it by fighting the monster. In this case, we're going to be going down into that pit there, but we're going to build a little more first. Because um, there's a lot of lands that we didn't cultivate yet. So let's let the arrow catch up. So right now, I mean, since we killed all the demons, we just have to wait until that um, hourglass shuts down and then, I mean, runs out and then we have another wave of building. This part could be a little slow going. So yeah. My son was uh, very cranky this morning. He goes to camp um, during the summer. Not like, you know, a sleepaway camp or anything like that. But, um, you know, because my wife and I work. We have two full-time jobs, you know. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't twitch for a living. Uh, so, um, he just he goes through these things where he just gets so moody and doesn't want to, like, go anywhere, or do anything. <sighs> and, like, his best friend is there. So, like, I don't... I really don't know what the... what the problem is. Hello to whoever entered the chat. Love to have you. Thanks for coming to check out. Uh, if you like what you see, please follow, and I will absolutely follow you back and show you some love and check out your stream as well. <clears throat> All right, so we gained another level. Our town's getting pretty respectable at this point. Uh, just going to build a little more. And then it gets to a point, I think, where you're going to see the townspeople are unhappy because of the demonic presence that that you're letting uh, stay here in this hole for now. Um, but they'll let you know. There's like, um, they'll just stop building. Just like the the hourglass will come down, uh, the sand will go through the hourglass, and then just like, nope, nothing happens, so. We haven't gotten to that point yet. We could kind of move this along, though, by going in the other direction. The arrow goes a little more if you do it that way. So, we'll be able to build that, then go back down, build that. Oh, I gotta finish that path. That's really triggering my OCD. I gotta try to finish that path so it goes all the way to the left there. Okay. Watch. See? All's right with the world now. Um, okay. Let's build up a little more over here. It just stops because the townspeople came out, but it's going to finish the path. You watch. So this is what I was talking about, about building up the civilizations. So, like, right here you got the huts. Right here you got the log cabins. And right here you got, like, the brick houses. And that's supposed to be a factory. I don't like the idea of a place looking industrial and everything, so I tend to call it just, like, a mansion. But I think there's supposed to be a factory. Um... Let's see what else. So we're just about done with building. There are a couple of paths that I could extend, like that one, and that one, and that's it. 
So that and that. Now we just let the uh, let them finish building, which they probably have a couple more. You'll start to see the building slow up a little bit uh, when they come out. At first, when it's at max, you got like six villagers coming out, tearing it up. Three, four, five. Okay, so they're still going strong. Um, but pretty soon you're going to start seeing only four come out. Then only two come out. Then one. And then the, the sand goes through the hourglass and nothing happens. And then that's when we could go and fight. So yeah. Um, if anybody has anything they want to talk about, please go right ahead and let me know. Sonny, I know you're in here. I wanted to see what you thought about the, uh, the stream, if the quality was good. Can you guys that are watching, can you let me know, is there any, uh, choppiness or anything, or is the stream, you know, more or less look good? I would appreciate you letting me know. Uh, I'm just checking to make sure that we're still live, and we are, so that's cool. Um, I always have my Stephen King collection in the back. It's a complete set of first editions and first printings. So, kind of my prized possession. Alright, see now I'm happy. I just wanted to get to a different level here. Um, we'll let, I think there's a maybe a few more waves that they could close out this place. But uh, after that we'll get going and take care of the demon that still plagues the land. Alright. I think that might be it. Let me see. Yep, that's it. Alright, so now we're going to go and fight. We're gonna... Remember we got that magic before, so we'll equip that. And now we'll go and fight. So that's what the game's like. You have the side-scrolling battler, you build up a town, you fight again, and then you move on to another town. And I think there's six towns total. I want to say it's six. <clears throat> this game I mean this game came out in 1991 in 1991 I was in elementary school I don't remember what grade I want to say it was 5th grade 1991 but um there was nothing better you got a new game or you rented it from Blockbuster I don't know if you Younger people know Blockbuster Video was a video store where you could rent movies and games. And, uh, you know, you get up early on a Saturday and just pound it out all day. Oh. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> So it's like a platformer too, you know? So you a lot of jumping on platforms and such. Right. Come back, so I may brain thee. So I think this statue, so you're basically God, that, you know, that angel, and then when it's time to battle, he sends down his essence, I guess, into the statue, and the statue comes to life and Fs everybody up. He does some smiting. Sonny, I have a feeling you're watching me with no volume, because you haven't answered me once. <laughs> I appreciate you're here, though. 
Maybe you're in a Zoom meeting. I had a Zoom meeting. I, I was, um, I went to interview for a promotion at work and, um, it was, we're doing things on Zoom because of the virus and everything, even though everybody where I work is vaccinated, whatever, whatever. Um, so they're still doing Zoom meetings and they sent me the link and everything. And like the night before I did my diligence, I made sure the link worked. I made sure that my password worked. I made sure I was all ready to go. Everything was set to go so that there wouldn't be any foul ups. Nine o'clock interview. Nine o'clock comes the next morning. I log in. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, might as well. Uh, nine o'clock the next morning comes and my password for whatever the reason isn't working. So I'm like, okay, maybe I, <coughs> maybe I typed it in a little too fast. Maybe I didn't do it correctly. So then I'm really like chicken picking the letters and the numbers to make sure it's correct. It didn't work. Then I try one more time because I know that it's the password. I have, you know, I keep a list of all my passwords because I have a million of them for a million different applications. And um, it was wrong a third time and it locked me out. So now, um, and this is like five minutes prior to the interview because I, I wanted to get in there five minutes early. I didn't want to be late. So now at this point when I'm futzing around with, uh, you know, my password's not working, then, you know, it became nine o'clock. So I'm like, okay, they're expecting me in there. What do I do now? So the only thing I could do is reach out to, uh, who sent the link, uh, you know, they got somebody on it. I know long story short, whatever, whatever, but, um, they ended up instead of doing it, they couldn't make it work. They sent me another link. It wouldn't work, of course. Uh, so I did a phone interview. And, uh, yeah. It was a good interview, nonetheless, but I felt like I was still at a disadvantage because everybody else was seen and they didn't even know what I looked like. So, not that that should really have any bearing on my qualifications for the job, but I didn't get it, by the way. They went with somebody who had a little more specialized experience, which I could understand. Uh, but at the same time, what are you going to do? But that's my luck. Like, I did everything I had to do. I did everything on my end to make sure I was prepared for the event. And it, it didn't matter. Fate stepped in. Oh, I hate this level. Oh, I hate the boss at the end of this level. It's really irritating. It takes a... His pattern is so simple, but, um, it takes, it's a pain. It's a pain in the neck. Ah, oh, you, with your sling and your rock. Usually I just jump that, but I'm being careful because I don't want to die. Because <laughs> you go right off of the edge of one of these things if you're not careful. If you jump too far. Or not far enough. Actually, we don't need that over there. It's an extra life, and we're not going to die, so we don't need that. A Boyd. And here he comes. Whoops. So this is where we're gonna stay now. Got some hits off of him there. Now we have to just slowly kill the guy. Two hits at a time. 
see the pattern yet? It's a pretty simple one, right? Drop down, hit him, he'll go back over, jump up, then repeat. Oh, I got a little too close to him that time. So, uh, I played the French version of this so of this game, because uh, I have uh, a retro console, and for whatever the reason, the ROM on there is the French version of this. But it, it's cool because it gives you an extra um, mode to play in. It's not really an extra mode, it's not different, but it's a hard mode, and <laughs> it's really hard. Like, uh, if you... If you touch the guy here, it would take away, like, half your power. Um, instead of just, like, you know, a couple of uh, rectangles. Alright. So now, we are about to settle Blood Pool. Man, I'm glad these, uh, these Twitter follow for follows and things with Twitch and retweets and all that work. <laughs> hey, see if somebody else uh, just came into the chat. Welcome. Thanks for coming to check it out. <clears throat> yeah, so... On this one, you have to... All this swampland, you have to dry it up with the sun. So that's what we're going to start doing. And we could also start building. And... We could do it a few more times. And we could also use the... Uh, the bridge building skill for this area. Because they have to cross the river, otherwise... They have a very small amount of land to cultivate. So let me use that. Okay, so they can build bridges now. Ah, uh, we don't have enough SP to use the sun. Okay. So right now, we're going to build. Right there. And we'll get these bushes out of the way with the lightning. What are some of your favorite Super Nintendo games? I don't know if uh, I don't know who I'm really talking to, so I don't know if you were around with Super Nintendo or if you're a new gamer or so. I'd love to, love to hear what you guys are into, or if you just want to watch, that's fine. So that this lake here is blood red because of the red demon that lives over here. And we're gonna be given something to take care of that demon because we can't build over there. So, and if you're if you just came in, uh, this is basically the Sims part of the game. You saw the battling part of the game. Uh, this is the Sims part where you build up a village and everything, and you have to lead villagers to the monsters' lairs to shut them down and everything like that. So, it's kind of what we're doing now. I'm gonna take care of this layer first. Alright. And they are getting going with the building. And they already have something to tell me. They should be able you should be able to skip past this, but you can't. That's the one thing about it. Alright, so their son Teddy. He's curious and gets into trouble and they're worried about him. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they didn't ask me to do anything. They just summoned me to tell them, Hey, I have a bastard of a child at home. Alright. So we could use the sun. Because we have enough SP now. But that takes away 30 at a time. So what we're going to do, we'll do that there. Then we'll also zap this these bushes over um, the monster's lair over here. 
And there it is. This this red demon, what he does, he doesn't kill your villagers, but he'll destroy your crops. Which, you know, you could just add rain to it. And um, it will get the crops, uh, bring them back to life. thinking about doing pilot wings next time I stream retro. I definitely need to finish my um, my other stream with uh, the no death run I have going with um, Last of Us 2. But uh, I think um, I think I want to play some pilot wings sometime soon in the near future. One second, I just want to make sure that we're still streaming, because like I said yesterday, I was on for a while, and then um, we are live. Good. Okay. Um, and then I was missing a huge chunk of my video after it was done. Hey, comma, man. Period. Can you let me know if the stream is choppy or if it looks okay, question mark? There we go. We do everything on camera. Okay. So now they specialize in wheat in Blood Pool. So now you could take it as an offering and bring it to other civilizations so that their, um, their farming is better. And that also has a direct correlation to your overall population, too. The better your farm is, um, you know, the higher the population. And like I said, there's a population ceiling in every uh, town. But it's good to maximize it so that you can uh, bring up your... So, I'm told that my stream is a little choppy. Next time, what I'm going to do... I mean, I'm in the middle of things right now, so I apologize for the choppiness. Um, next time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my VPN off on my uh, PC. And that ought to help out with the bandwidth. Sorry, I'm just showing my my buddy wanted to know if I saw his chats and that's all I saw really. Um twitch twitch twitch. Okay. Alright, so we have to take the loaf of bread to their kid. We have to first get it.
Alright, so they said he was by the temple, and there's troublesome old Teddy. Causing a panic with his parents. See, that's the annoying part of this game sometimes, is that, um... Hey, whoever just came in, thanks for checking me out. Hope you enjoy. And if you want to follow, I'll be happy to follow you back and check out your stream. Spread the love a little bit. Alright. So we need to use that offering to take care of the, um... We have to take the offering first, uh, and then they're gonna. Use, we have something that could get rid of that uh, the magic skull, that could get rid of the uh, demon lair that we can't get to there, and that will have an effect on the land. Just watch. Guys, I just want to turn my VPN off real quick, so if you could just bear with me for like a minute, I'm just going to do that. Just so that, because I, I was told that the stream was a little choppy, so I want to make sure that you guys aren't being annoyed with a stroppy, uh, choppy stream. Just give me one minute. Okay, so hopefully that did it. Hopefully there's a less choppy stream now. And we're going to get back to it. I just turned everything off. Please let me know if it improves. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Still trying to iron out some of the bugs in my stream here. But um, I think... Hopefully we should be okay now. All right. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. All right. So we're going to take care of this. You just use that magic skull right there. And that guy's lair is gone. And now the, the water is nice and clear. Now they could start fishing and stuff, and they found a magic scroll for me. How nice. So we're going to collect that in the offerings section. Uh, we still have some swampland to get rid of, so let's do that. And we, we have to pick up on the building, too. So we're going to start building again. We got a little sidetracked. Or I did. You didn't do anything. I got sidetracked. Um... There we go. So that should take care of all the demons. But we still have a lot of building to do. Let's see what you said here. Am 
Might have to reconnect the VPN after a VPN. Let me look. I'm not on it. All right. If we're streaming, great. If not, then it's just going to chalk another one up to uh, the learning process here. But I think, I mean, as far as I can tell, I'm streaming. So I just had to turn off my VPN because my bandwidth going through uh, that I'm putting through my Wi-Fi is too much because it's a Wi-Fi. I'm not hardwired to my computer. I'm, I have sort of an unorthodox setup. I have a PC, but I connect it to my, instead of a monitor, it's connected straight to my TV. So I'm playing on a 64 inch LED screen instead of a computer monitor. Um, selfishly, it's, it's more enjoyable for me. So, um, but also what that means is my Wi-Fi is upstairs and our living room here is downstairs, so I can't, it's not hardwired, in other words. So I'm streaming off a of Wi-Fi, which is not ideal. All right, so since we connected the two towns, if we go back to the other area, you'll see that what once looked like these farms now look like these farms over there. And that's going to help the overall population. All right, gained a level here. Leveling up. Okay. So we already have the trajectory of where we want this place built. Just kind of going along the coast here, and the villagers are going to close this layer down in a few more... Um, in a few... Well, actually, probably maybe only one more uh, cycle of the um, hourglass there. And then it's up to us. We have to fill in all the rest of this, and then that'll help us gain... Uh, a level again then we'll have to fight another time and then we could leave blood pool there we go now all the monsters are dead <clears throat> yes and we have to collect there's actually offerings we have to collect too every time they close down a monster's lair there's an offering that you could collect so we'll see what they have. A strange statue. It's another one of those bomb statues, which is fine, but it, you know, it's whatever. I'm in no rush to collect it, I'll put it that way. So we're going to build up this area on the other side of the river. Um, let's take an offering here. Ah, new magic. That's good. So instead, I don't know if you saw me use the magic uh, during the last battling sequence, but um, that was like two fire, two waves of fire that come out either side of you. This one is like a bunch of shooting stars that come down and hit the enemy. It basically covers the screen. So that's that's good. Stream is much better. Great. I'm glad. Yeah, I shut I shut the VPN off. Thanks for the tip. <clears throat> I have, uh, you know, I never would have thought that the VPN would be something that would be uh, affecting the bandwidth. Apparently everything on the friggin' planet affects bandwidth. <sighs> but, but yeah, last night, <laughs> I think somebody was streaming Netflix. And, um, yeah, it did, uh, it wreaked havoc on my, uh, on my stream, unfortunately. Ah, uh, they're all... They're all worried because of, uh... The monster that I didn't kill yet. But we're gonna... We're gonna take care of it. Can we just build a little, please? These guys gotta focus. I mean, I'm... Busting my ass building their town. And it's... I can't do anything quick enough for them. 
you know, we're building a population, we're building a town. And they're like, okay, well, they're monsters, you gotta do this. Okay, I got rid of the monsters. Yeah, but there's a big monster now. Like, you know, help me out a little. Let's all enjoy the day a little bit, we'll build. Then I'll kill the monster. Like my son. Like, no patience. Alright. Whoops. That's the other thing, too. If you hit a command, you have to... It reads what it does every time. It only takes a second or two, but it's like, alright. I don't want to read. I know what the icon does. Just let me pick it. Ooh, another level. Music to my ears. <clears throat> wow, I'm watching... I'm checking out my live... My live video. And it's like... It has to be at least five minutes behind. At least, I would say. As long as it's still streaming, I'm fine. Good with that. So I would love to know what... Uh, what you guys would like to see in here. Um, I, I feel like, I mean, I play Warzone, and I do enjoy Warzone, but I feel like every single streamer on the planet is streaming Warzone, and I don't have the numbers to get myself at the top of those lists of people that are going to be watching my stream, uh, because I'm a new streamer. So, I think for the time being, I might stay away from that for a little bit. Um, also, what did I do? I do have Little Nightmares. I'm working my way through the first one. I played the second one first and beat that, and now I'm playing through the first one. Definitely an interesting game. Um, I hate when this happens. I don't know why it happens. But, like, it gets... There's, like, a, a small glitch in it. Like, if you try to build from over here and go this way, the hourglass runs out, but the villagers don't come out and build. I don't know why that happens. Let's see. We'll work through it, though. We got it. We'll just build a little more, and then they'll have to build. And then that'll be it. And we have a little more land to build up. Oh, okay. They're upset, so they're not building anymore. Alright. Okay. Okay. Temperamental. All right, so let's go fight. We'll we'll beat the bad guys for them. Apparently, they've <laughs> they've protested working until I beat the uh, the boss of this uh, town. Not nah, not the town. This city, where wherever they are. So, in 21 days, I am going with my family to Tennessee. We rented a huge, like, it's basically a mansion uh, in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Not just my family and I, my immediate family. My wife, my kid, uh, my sister, her husband, their kids, their two kids, and my parents. And uh, so, nine of us. And it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to go. I've never been to Tennessee. I'm from New York. You probably tell. I don't know if I have a real New York accent. Uh, everybody says that they could always tell if you're from New York. I believe them. Uh, but I don't. I don't talk like this or nothing. You know. Uh, how you doing over there? I don't talk like that. So, um, I haven't met too many New Yorkers that do. Actually, it's a stereotype that they always play up in movies. Um, so anyway. <laughs> We decided we were going to make a road trip of it. So... What does that say? Stream much better like that. The building sim music is Michael Caine sitting in a chair. Sipping tea. Yes, I agree. It's very proper. It's it's like chamber music. I like it. Uh, yeah, so we're like, let's take a road trip. Um... Nothing against flying. I learned to fly a plane before I learned to drive a car. And that's the God's honest truth. I, my first flight was in a Cessna 172RG. Just means retractable gear. 
a lot of them don't have retractable gear. But I was lucky enough, my first flight was in a, a Cessna with retractable gear. Kind of made it a little cooler, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so we wanted to make a road trip out of it. It's going to take us, no joke, like 12 hours to get there. So, uh, in pure Clark Griswold style fashion, I told the family, all right, we're going to pack it up like 3.30 in the morning. We're going to hit the road nice and early, stay ahead of the traffic, because we're leaving on a Monday, I believe, the 23rd. We're coming back on the 29th. And um, that's, uh, you know, a weekday, so you're talking about rush hour. And no matter where you go, there, we're going to hit rush hour traffic because we're going to be on the road come 9 o'clock. Uh, it's even earlier these days, rush hour. But, um, you know, hopefully we're far enough along where it doesn't really... I could get that, but I'm not going to. It's an extra life. And we're not going to die, so we don't need the extra life. Alright, if if the building music is Michael Chain, Kane sitting in a chair, Sonny, what's this music? Your den on fire and you running around yanking your hair out of your head. How about that? Yeah, so um, in Tennessee, I plan on doing some streams there. Um, there's actually like a an arcade, like a stand-up arcade game there. I think it's it's either Deer Hunter or it's like a car driving game. It's one of those things. Not not like the quality you'd find in Dave and Buster's, like one of the older ones you would see in like a '90s arcade or something like that. But cool nonetheless. Uh, pool table, air hockey, a theater. Like, so it's a really cool place, and it's huge. Um, so, uh, that's gonna be great. I'll probably do a couple streams from there, because I have the retro console. And, um, I could plug it in, obviously, to any TV. So, um, I might, I might do some streaming up there. Just so I, you know, maintain a presence, and I'm not gone from a week. Not that, not that I'll, I'll be missed or anything. <laughs> I'm a new, uh, Twitch streamer, but, you know. You don't, you don't start streaming and then just disappear for a while. I feel like I think that's probably counterproductive to what you're trying to do. I'm trying to become affiliated, so that'd be nice. Oh, Michael Kane sitting in a chair, sipping tea. Music is back. I'm Michael Kane. I enjoy tea in my study and watching Tom stream. What now with these guys? <laughs> I just killed your your big demon here. Maybe so may sound strange to you, but please hear out our plea. Our people have become bitter and selfish. We have so many quarrels and fights. You know, I just cleared this place of like all sorts of evil, and now they're fighting amongst each other. These blood pool people. I'm gonna enjoy bringing the earthquake to them. Sorry. You're gonna pay. Unappreciative. Alright. I might not be able to build until I get the thing from the next town that settles their quarrelous attitudes. Yeah, we have to we have to move. Uh oh, that's not the next one. This is the next one. The desert city. Cassandora. So let's fight. Man, my stream is like 10 minutes behind, I feel like. When I'm watching it. I'm watching it back. I don't know. Just to make sure that it's still streaming. I want to make sure it's still streaming, so. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> the easiest little thing. And he took away, like, a quarter of my... A third of my energy. Because I just couldn't get an angle on him. That's okay. I 
Ah, uh, full energy. An apple. I guess that's uh, apropos to biblical stuff and Adam and Eve, the apple. Uh, I guess you're not gonna, like Ninja Turtles, you're not gonna pick up a slice of pizza or anything. That'd be a little out of place, I feel like. Or, you know, a burger. Like in Final Fight. Final Fight's another good one to stream. <clears throat> oh, that was close. All right. What is this? We took a leap of faith there, literally. Hey, see somebody else came in to join the stream. Welcome. Happy to have you. Hope you like what you see, and if you like it, please follow, and I'll definitely follow you back. Spread the love. Watch your stream. Nice. Oh, that was a good one. We could just stay here now, because he's pretty much dead. Alright, so that one's dead. So now we build Cassandora. Man, the sun went back in. I purposely left the, left the lights off because, you know, I didn't want it to be too bright. But now the sun obviously went behind some clouds or something. Alright. So, a major pain on this level is you have to clear all this sand away so you can build. So, let's do that. They're gonna say, hey, how you doing? Welcome, please build our place. And we're gonna do that. Um, and we have a monster lair pretty close to our starting point, so we might as well take care of that one first. Alright, so use the rain. <clears throat> All right. And if you guys, you don't have to, like I said, but if you guys want to chat, feel free. I have no problem chatting with you guys. I'd actually like to know about you guys, if you want, uh, who you are, what you stream and stuff, and what you'd like to see me play another time. But uh, if you want to just watch, more than welcome, no problem. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna take care of that bat lair first, and then we're gonna take care of the red devil lair. All right. All right. Now we start building. And one thing we can do from blood pool, we got that better wheat, so we're gonna give that to the farmers here so that they build better farms for themselves and now drive the population up. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. That's okay. Not really saving it for anything. I just didn't get around to using it. Didn't need it. Um, there we go. And now they have a wheat field and that's much better. Alright, so they got a dead villager there, or almost dead villager, so we're going to lead the builders to him, so they could recover him. And to be nice guys, after we develop the land that way, we're, why don't we rain on him a little so he's not lying out in the middle of the sand. Make it a little better for him while he waits for us to get there. Oh, the red devil, he killed my farm. So now, I have to send rain there to bring it back to life. Uh, 
Wonder if any of you have ever played it. Or played this game. Um, it says under construction, but then... Oh, okay. I was thinking... That's what I thought. I, I thought I was reading Sealing Monsters Lair, but then they were building. I was like, that's why I would pause. It gave me pause for a second. Alright. Master, we have found a strange bow and some arrows. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. Thanks, but all you villagers give the same stuff. Well, you know what? That replaces the one that I just used and didn't mean to use. And it is more powerful, so... But it runs out. That's the thing. You have it for, like, a couple minutes and then it runs out, so... It's not like it's a permanent thing. Oh, He killed one of my villagers. With lightning. No matter. We'll rebuild it. Okay. Oh, we definitely don't need the sunlight here. Whoops. We're in the desert. We don't need the sun. Almost there, guy. Hold on. Yeah, he killed my farm again. It's hard to juggle all these things because they're all over the screen, so it's... It's what happens. Alright. I mean, I know they're, they're gonna build properly to him, but I'm just trying to get this going, man. Come on. Not that time. I saw you. Angel's power is no more. Yeah, so the um, the bow and arrow that was uh, helping me kill these demons quicker. It's just my regular bow and arrow now. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, again. I'm going to enjoy killing this demon's lair. My stream is like 10 minutes behind that I'm watching. Thanks for the offering. Nice. See the music change? They have music. Birth, birthplace of music. Uh, so, we could take that back to Bloodpool, and that is going to settle down their quarrelsome attitudes, and they'll begin building again. So, let's do that. Um. Let's save this real quick. Also, let's use a bomb. I have a bunch in there, and you can only have so much in your inventory. Uh. Let's take the offering of music, and we'll bring it to Bloodpool, and we'll finish building over there, then we can move on to over here. Hey, a scroll. That's gonna be good. That's another spell we could cast whenever they give me scrolls like that, whenever they find them. Okay. <clears throat> Right, so let's move back to Bloodpool. <clears throat> and use the music offering. All right, now they're ready to build again. Thank you for the compass. We're going to use that on... Um, you'll see the islands that we use it on. 
It's an island, so that's the best place to use a compass. These aren't islands. These are landlocked. Not landlocked, um, but not islands either. Not really archipelagos either, are they? I have to see. Just to give you an idea, my stream that I'm watching right now is at the place where I turned off my VPN. So that's how long ago. That's how far back it is. So live is not really live. Live is like 10 minutes ago. I guess just like uh, like when you're looking at the sun, the light from the sun, That's you. That's it takes 8 minutes to get to the earth at the speed of light. So, the sunlight you're getting is eight minutes old. <clears throat> Almost done building here. And once we get that SP up to 160, we could go back to all the old civilizations, wipe out the... It's, it sounds cruel, but wipe out the uh, older buildings, and then um, they could build better structures, and that'll help your overall uh, population as well. Because the, the newer houses uh, house more people. More people means uh, you level up more. Okay. So we're almost done. We just have to do this upper section here. I don't know, I almost like the Sims part of this game better than the battling part. Or at least just as much. If I was a YouTuber, a YouTube streamer, I'd be like, Tell me what you think! What do you like better? The Sims part or the battling part? Leave a comment below. You ever watch the people with those fake voices like that? I don't get it. I find it very irritating. Some people might find my hat irritating. It's like Uncle Buck. This hat tends to anger people. Doing a good job, folks. You're earning your mead today. After a nice hot day of building, you settle down with the misses and you polish off some mead. Looks like that time period, I guess. I don't know. All right, so we have built, <clears throat> we have built everything we can. All the paths are as long as they could be, everything. So, I always do this. I don't know why, it's just a little idiosyncrasy. We're gonna park our building arrow on home base here. Just to show that we're done. Uh, we'll let the hourglass run out again and see if anybody uh, comes out to build. Nope, they're done. And 792 population. That's good. Uh, so we're going to go back to Cassandora now. So here are two places. Fillmore and Bloodpool. See, their farm area here is uh, the wheat fields because they traded with Bloodpool. And Bloodpool hooked them up with wheat. So here we go. Wheat. Wheat. Don't get excited. Let me see something. I might have enough SP to... Oh! Alright, all things considered, that wasn't bad. It's more annoying when he kills your crops. Because those mud huts have to go anyway, eventually, so... <coughs> Let me see something. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I have to build. 
here. Let me use another bomb because these things are driving me nuts. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of one of those for sure. Then we'll come back up here. We'll take care of one of the monsters down. I mean, up there. Lair is being cleaned out. Civilization has improved. All right, let's start raining again. Um, how many does the earthquake require? One sixty. My SP is maxed at 160, so this is what we're going to do. Sorry, people of... People of, uh... Fillmore. The day of reckoning is at hand. We're going to Fillmore. And we're going to max out the population there. Okay. This, by the way, this island is where we're going to use the compass. All right, Fillmore. Your god is here. Any last words? No? Ooh, that's a lot of broken down houses. And I think that killed like half the population. But they're going to rebuild bigger and better. That's what happens. It's human nature. <clears throat> Those mud huts were really an eyesore. See? Already doing better. Build some nice brick houses. Alright. So while this is happening, I'm just going to make sure that... My stream is still playing in my OBS, um, what's it called, the, uh, my, uh, where I dock my stream. One second. Okay, we are still good and still live, just what I like to see. Coming back. Maybe I'll put the light on a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, it was getting dark. I guess the sun would, went behind a bunch of clouds and just stayed there. Because, uh... It's getting dark. Okay. I like my windscreen so I don't pop my peas. I'm having the... Like I said, I'm, I'm recording my audiobook. And I have to go... Actually, I have to be there in a few hours. Uh, to the studio. But, um... I have a problem with my S's. I think they call that sibilant. Something like that. Um... So he has to actually dull down my S's, so it doesn't sound too... It's annoying. It's not, I can't control it. I don't have, like, a... nothing, like, with my teeth or anything that make those S's anything special, but... I'm a guy walking his dog. Come on! Come on out and build. It's very satisfying to see them fill in all the areas. To me, it is. Like, the, you know what? Another thing I don't get that people find... I, I do get it, actually. I, what I meant to say is, you know what, what else I find satisfying, which people... It is disgusting at the same time, but people like it. I know I'm not alone with it. Like those pimple or blackhead videos where they remove blackheads from people or pimples, like pop pimples... I don't know, there's something oddly satisfying about it. I don't know what it is. People are just a weird breed. They're just a weird species. Alright, we gained a level. 
And we're almost back to where we should be. And then what we could do, we could do it in Bloodpool as well. And then we'll go back to Cassandora and finish up over there. Nice. Gotta tell you, Filmorians, doing a hell of a job. Your maker is pleased. Is that four? Where's 890? That's a good population for here. And that's it. Okay, so they're at max population. Let's go to Blood Pool. Once again, so sorry, but the day of reckoning is at hand. Alright, so we're just going to whip this, shape, this place back into shape, and then we'll move on to Cassandora, I promise. But it's good, you got to build, especially if you're doing a no-death run, you got to build your, you know, your power. Give yourself the best chance. <clears throat> the end is like Thunderdome. It's all the bosses that you beat, all the main bosses that you beat, so not the ones to enter the towns, the ones that you beat um, as you're leaving the towns, or right before you leave the towns. You face every single one of them again, one after the other. And, you know, if you're doing a no-death run, that's kind of challenging. Um, even though some of them have patterns and stuff, and the magic that you use helps. But I'll show you all that. We're probably going to break this game up into two videos. We're going strong like an hour and a half right now. Probably do. Maybe a little over two hours. I want to do like half and half. That's what I'm thinking. So after Cassandora, we'll kind of be halfway. Enjoy the music. I just, I'm parched from talking so much. So I'm just going to take a sip of something. I'll be back in less than 30 seconds. Thank you for waiting. Man, my my throat was getting dry. <clears throat> um, is that it? I see a lot of space here that they didn't build. Okay, I guess they're done. All right. So we have uh, we didn't maximize our space there, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, for our purposes, we're it'll be okay. So these blue um, demons actually kind of do you a favor because they take out your old buildings. Uh, they they don't just take out old buildings. They take out whatever buildings are around. But when you have mostly old buildings, the odds, you know, are in your favor. Um, so those aren't the worst things to keep around sometimes. At the same time, I don't want my people harassed. <clears throat> oh. No, I don't want to use this one. Sorry. 
My wife was just telling me how in the parking lot there was an old guy that almost plowed right into her. If she didn't jump out of the way, he would have just run her over. We all have those people in our families. You and I both, so let's not kid ourselves. We all have somebody in our family that just shouldn't be driving anymore, right? Not that this is somebody in my family, but just as an overall statement. Hmm, you know what? I did change my mind, because we're going to take this thing out first. I didn't realize there was a lair right there, so... I was going to go around to the, the red the red demon uh, lair. But nope. Say goodbye, Bluey. Did you hear it? I heard it. He nuked my freaking farm. <clears throat> what did you find in the lair? Okay. Alright, so now we got rid of all the demons that can kill people. Now we just have a nuisance demon that likes to kill my crops. Let's get rid of the rest of this sand. See, it sucks that you have to read through this every time. It should just come up with, want to use the rain? Yes or no? You know, a minor annoyance. For such a good game. I really like this game. This is like the fifth time I'm playing through it this year. And before that, I hadn't played it for years. But then I was like, oh yeah. Let me pop that in again. And then... It just kind of got me on the thing of, hey, maybe I should stream this one. <clears throat> you guys liking this game? Let me know if you want. I'd hate to be doing something that uh, people weren't enjoying, on some level at least. So... I'm going to leave one patch of sand because there's a pyramid that appears there and that's where the second demon is. So I feel like if I have that exposed, then they're going to stop building again and I don't want that. So I'm going to build a little more before I allow that to be unearthed, as it were. Okay. demons. So now we build. 